Um, I think we really played as a family and we really played together. Um, we After that first set, we didn't play as well, but then we really came together and were able to put together two great sets. Yeah, I definitely agree with Ellie. We played with a lot of heart. Um, we did a lot of like scouting and like kudos to Damien because I think they, skill-wise, they were very evenly matched with us and they were able to outplay us, but I was really proud of us because we are like a younger team um, with only five returners from two seasons ago. Um, so I was very proud that we played with a lot of heart at the end of the day. You mentioned the difference between set one and set two. Uh, I was talking to a couple of different coaches. They said it looked like two completely different teams uh, for you guys when between the sets. What happened in between those sets uh, that allowed you guys to really come out with those next two sets? Um, we were really able to take the momentum, I think, through our serve receive. Uh, just being able to really take control and have more serves than the other team just put us ahead. Yeah, definitely the serve receive was a big um, changing factor. And like we know like that this is like once we lose, we're out. So we really wanted to turn it around. And I think like Ellie took a lot of leadership in that too. And we really did turn around. And like yes, I think that was a whole di different team for the second set. Uh, unfortunately, your season does come to a close, which I know it's always sad. Um, but you guys really had a fantastic year this year, especially for you guys at Yankee 10. Um, what's it like to know that um, you guys really performed well the entire season, had an NCAA um, appearance, and uh, you go out um, with a really good season as well? It's been great. I think we did have a great season as it's been. We had the year off. We worked really hard, and we put ourselves in a great position for next year. We're losing Shannon, unfortunately, which everyone's very sad about, but we have a very strong team coming back next year. Yeah, I definitely agree. It was definitely hard playing in my last game, but I am so proud of this team. Um, we had a major like growth development as a team on this entire season, and I know it was a little weird coming in because of COVID and like all the regulations. It was hard to like um, have a lot of like uh, team activities, but like this year has been so different, and I've really gotten to know everybody, and I'm like really proud. I know it was a loss, but I'm very proud of how we played tonight. We left it all on the court. Well, we certainly started out slow. That was, um, I think, the deer in headlights. First time at NCAAs, as, as uh, my two student athletes mentioned, we are a young team. Only really three, you know, Ingrid Murphy, Shannon No, Katie Rounds, the three with really some significant experience. So get through the first match, uh, take our first set, get, get our lumps, and then just realize, hey, this is, this is just another match. And I think it showed, and certainly in that second and third, and um, even the fourth, which we didn't win, um, you know, the way they played the last four sets was just a complete 180 from that first set. You mentioned the difference between sets one and two, uh, but I thought you guys showed tremendous uh, perseverance, especially in that four set, uh, fighting back, making it, you know, at the end, one or two points here at the end. Um, what do you think really motivated that uh, rally to really catch up and potentially what you were hoping for um, to take the set? Yeah. You know, they've been, they've been, the squad has been working on um, really staying in the moment and really focusing on one point at a time. You know, my big thing is, listen, forget about the score. Nothing's going to change whether it's 0-0, 15-12, 24-20. If you got a pass serve, you got a pass serve. And so because, as I mentioned, we are, we are young, um, they're slowly getting it. And when they do get it, it's, it's just a completely different team because we certainly have the talent. We have uh, slowly, on average, the maturity is pretty high, but it, they still just have to believe that uh, the way they play, when they're kind of oblivious of what the score is, it's a lot different than thinking that, oh my God, I got to create this seven point play, which doesn't exist in volleyball. You just got to grind it out. So uh, to answer your question, I, you know, when they figure it out, it's, it's a completely different team. Uh, you end your season, unfortunately. Yeah. Obviously, no one ever wants to end their season on a loss, but um, like I mentioned with the girls before, uh, great season, uh, lots of positives to take away from it. Uh, NCAA appearance is always a fantastic yeah. way, uh, or fantastic tournament to, uh, to end the season, but uh, thoughts on your season and anything you want to recap? Sure. Well, the East region, you know, in the 15 plus years I've been as the head coach and then, you know, an additional five as the assistant coach, you know, dating back to 2000, the, the level has just gone up leaps and bounds. And the parity, especially in the Northeast 10, is, you know, where it's probably 12 teams deep now fighting for those top eight spots in the conference. So I think to get an at-large bid um, speaks very highly of, of our body of work, right? Because 
you know, the AQ, you know, but to be considered as, uh, you know, with a 15 and 12 record to get the seven seed was certainly an honor for us. You know, we, we had some really good w wins on the road against New Haven, um, Southern Connecticut, St. A's. And I think looking forward, you know, unfortunately, we're, we're losing one of our great leaders, Shannon No, She wasn't a captain, but she was a leader by example, one of our best athletes. We are returning everybody else. And I think with the new crop of freshmen coming in, the 22 grads, um, and really everyone buying in to, you know, what Constantine and I are trying to create as the Bentley culture, we just have a lot of potential. And I think uh, as soon as they figure it out and understand it and believe it, it'll be, you know, we won't be fronting teams six, seven points right off the gate and then trying to play catch up. <laughs> we hope to be that team that has that big lead.